All right, I'm the Flat Rate Master. Today we're gonna to talk about, is UTI worth it? Now I'm gonna pick on UTI, but really this video is about finding the right tech school to go to. Now the reason for this video is in my live stream, I've gotten a lot of comments asking about UTI specifically. As one person stated in there, his cost was $47,000 to go to UTI. Now I've heard people complain about UTI's actual school, and I don't agree with that. I know a bunch of people that have gone to UTI, including the Humble Mechanic, including Bogey of All Girls Garage, Andrew that used to work with me, Bam Bam that I used to work with. There's many people I know that have gone to UTI and gotten really good education. It's like any other school. You get out what you put into it. So if you're studying, you're learning the material, you're gonna get a good education in most cases. But ultimately, that is a lot of money for somebody to come out of school and still have to buy a bunch more tools and be $47,000 in debt because he took a couple extra programs. There's much, much, much better options out there in the world. There's smaller schools like here in Atlanta. There's Chattahoochee Tech. There's uh, West Central out in Carrollton. I know a bunch of people that have gone to Chattahoochee Tech here in Atlanta, and they also turn out really good technicians at a lot less money. And that's what I think really should be the takeaway from this video. Yeah, UTI advertises a bunch, but they charge so much for what you get that you can get at a much better price, same education. The example of Chattahoochee Tech. Aaron, I used to work with, went there. I believe Billy went there. I know Zach I used to work with went there. Lots of good techs have come out of smaller tech schools. Look at Scanner Danner School. A lot of really good techs have come out of that school. I mean, predating Paul being an instructor there, Eric the car guy came out of there. They're a bigger type school, but I doubt their automotive program is gonna really get you, you know, the kind of debt that will result from going to UTI. Bunch of really good techs have been produced by that school, and it's not UTI. You know, quoting some Jedi stuff, Talent without training is useless. Talent and training, if you get good training, can take you all the way to the top of this industry, but you don't have to spend UTI type money simply to get that education. There's lots of good options out there. There's lots of smaller tech schools that will give you that education without that cost. On that same note, Dealerships are also a good path to go without going to tech school. Get on at a dealership that wants to bring up young technicians so they will send you through all of the manufacturer specific training, which will have a lot of that same basic stuff in there that you can learn. Guess what? They pay for it. You go for free. All you got to do is work there and go through the training program. So that's also another option. I get asked that a lot is, do I have to go to tech school to become a tech? No, if you can find somebody to hire you, and a lot of dealerships will hire somebody on the ground floor of the dealership and they'll let them work their way up. Great option to get your education. Now, do you have to stay there? No, you get educated, you get trained, you can move on, but, you get all that education for free. So it's a really good option. Other careers, sometimes you have to go under apprenticeships. Well, this is kind of the same thing. Instead of paying to go to school, you get paid to go to school. Now, are you probably gonna make the best money? No, but getting into this industry, you're probably not gonna make the best money starting out either, but it's a really good option. So I hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.